First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. No Super batter. play Number right one. there from the shortstop. Short Talk about showing really? off those hops. This it. was destined to be a base hit into the outfield. Into the box, Willie Adamas. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But not quite enough as it's off the center field wall. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The more things change, the more they stay the, the same. Fielder. This guy's been producing at the plate all year Kiermaier. long. And this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having. But he'll just have to settle for a double. Standing in now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field, so he creeps ever closer to triple digits as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Now that it, the first baseman, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. He swings and grounds it to short. That's through another base hit for him. He's three for three. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Oh, Everybody wants bat. up at the plate the right now. Hit. They're feeling frisky. No They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's Wendell. working. Stepping in now, Joey Wendell, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And he's got a shot at history. Needs to send one over the wall to complete the cycle. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. Choi rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the play as they extend their lead even further. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second Matt. triple, so obviously Duffy. he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. In now, Matt Duffy. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Sierra's in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. This is just bordering on ridiculous Double now, guys. 19 down. runs in one game. To say that they're having some success yeah. at the plate would be like saying some kids lead. are excited at Christmas. Now, Austin Bryce end. is going to come on Number to pitch here, and in just the third Austin. inning, you have to think he'll be right. asked to eat some innings. Tommy Pham will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Very rarely, Matt, do you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup in that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Well, I'm not sure they can do anything different, but it comes a time where you have to call the, the dogs off. I mean, what? they've already scored 20 no, runs, and this go. thing ain't over yet. We might be here till midnight. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Zanino, runner in scoring position with two gone. 
Pitch on its way now to Zunino. There's a fastball right oh down Broadway God. taken for a strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Oh, in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five more runs cross the plate. Now batting Miguel Rojas he looked to bounce Marlin. back after striking out his last time up. Here's a pop up Rojas. now Choi over to his left and he brings it in on the warning track. Now that and while we Third have base. a moment here's a look at the Rays road to the Andrew show Smith. report two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Digging in for his second at bat, Brian Anderson. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Comes set and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Well, now he's batting. really locked in at base. this point in the game on the bump. So far All this inning, right. four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Miami down in order, and as you. Can see they are way behind. Ready now, Eric Thames. It was and a flyout for him in his last trip. Oh, almost, right, Maddie. Almost Eric. went deep his last AB. Certainly oh. just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling. Meanwhile, now this is a drive out the straightaway right field, and it's gonna get out of here. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 55 on the campaign as the blowout continues. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get now your take back. on this. I didn't hitter. find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a Robert lot of guys Bass. say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case the in this one right Robert here. One. They must be seeing Short the ball stop. really well because really? They're, they're just absolutely Robert. smoking the baseball right now. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out to left field. And it's gone as they add still another.
A solo shot here to left. Home run number 44 on the year as this lead got even wider. Now batting, the center fielder. Kevin. Into the box now. Kevin Kiermaier. And he hits it hard to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Ready once First again. G-Man Choi. G he singled Choi. his last time up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line drive to center field. Sierra is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So two runs come across here both coming via the solo home run on to the top of inning number five we go. Tampa Bay leads this one 22 to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro, Leading 0 for, for 1 moment. after he took a look Protecting at strike 3 in his Jorge first plate appearance. Alfaro. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike 3 last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Behind 0-2 now. Ready with the 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. The next 0-2. And it's fouled away. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. A look at our line score here through the now first four and as Number we've mentioned 45. just one hit for these guys this afternoon. First delivery to him on the way. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact let alone putting the ball in play. Thames is right there as he takes it for the second out. A look at our line score here through the first four, and as we've mentioned, just one hit now for these it. guys this afternoon. Curtis. In is Curtis Granderson. Granderson. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball down oh, around one. the knees there, taken for a strike. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. One, two, three go the Marlins. And they remain well, well behind. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Joey 